Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Madison and today I thought we'd do a nice relaxed repot and maybe chop up today. So let's see where the day takes us. <laughs> Today, I want to repot three plants and then maybe turn a couple of these guys into some more plants. So, first up here, this is a new guy for me. This is a purple sword um, alocasia. I'll put the true name of it on the screen for you, but it's super, super pretty. My boyfriend scored me this guy for like five bucks, I think, at our local grocery store, so definitely keep your eye out. I want to say that this is from um, a company called Urban Jungle, so they've been putting out some really, really nice plants lately, so keep your eyes peeled. I've only had this plant for about a week, and I usually wouldn't repot things so quickly, but it just looks a little bit sad, and I just feel like this soil could probably use a refresher, and... oh. And, hello, <laughs> what came out super easy? It's got some really good roots here. Hopefully you can see how um, beautiful these roots are. But I would say it's definitely getting a little bit root bound. So, I don't see any corms in here yet. So, I'm not going to go digging, I don't think. I'm just going to kind of like brush off the top layer. I have a bucket here <laughs> or bin of like kind of older soil. So, I'm just going to put the old soil off top in here. You're probably not going to be able to see this, but that's okay. Do I have scissors? Could have swore I brought scissors over here. Am I sitting on them? Alrighty, this leaf is just sad, so I'm cutting him. He's probably still giving energy to the plant, if we're being honest, but it just doesn't look good. I don't like it. So if you just don't like something, I think it's perfectly okay just to start fresh and get rid of it. Um, let's so I have one pot here that's a good size. I think I am going to put this purple sword in there and then I've got just like some small little guys, some even smaller ones. So I mostly have small options here, but that's okay because I feel like I'm going to end up needing more smaller than larger pots. So yeah, I think I am just going to go ahead and put this guy in here. I feel like it's a little bit big. Um, but it's the only other size that I have that's not like ginormous. So we're gonna stick with it. Off to my side here, you're probably not gonna be able to see, but I have a larger bin of soil. It's just a mixture of like a bland tuper mix with um, some perlite and a little bit of orchid bark, but I was really running out of orchid bark. So it's really just the tuper mix soil and some perlite, so. Okay, so I put a little bit of soil in the bottom there, not much. And I am like risky business doing this on the carpet, but that's okay. So as it sits in there, the soil would only, well, I guess it would be about to that little lip that is like sitting right here. So I think that will be okay. Let's see here. Hey, making it work. I like to kind of shake the soil around a little bit and give it a little tap, tap, tap a -roo. Can anyone tell me what movie that's from? Just give it a little tap, a little tap, tap, tap a -roo. It's an oldie but a goodie. Okay. And bam, first one is done. Easy peasy. I just need to get a tray for this guy and he is ready to go. I think he looks really nice. Hopefully this leaf will hard off, harden off nicely. It is the newest leaf. That's why it's like so wonky and I'm pretty sure this probably came out in shipment um so yeah we'll see how this one fares purple sword alocasia I'm just gonna keep this on my lap I think that's gonna work really really well all right so what do I want to do here I've got these two dark leaf philodendrons I'm still not sure what they are I don't know if that'll ever truly be super sure as to what they are but as you can see with this guy he's just got tons of like growths coming out of the bottom here so I really want to try and separate those into their own little pots so let's go ahead and separate this guy this is what I would consider kind of like a plank failure um, I'm still probably gonna keep it on some sort of plank like this but I say it's kind of a plank failure because it doesn't have any of those aerial roots actually trying to attach to the pole, which is kind of a bummer. It's not like, you know, it's offering support, obviously, but the plant isn't like 
using it, I guess, in the way that I would have hoped. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Do you see how compact all that dirt is on there? That does not look good. Okay. I'm glad that I'm finally doing this. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, this soil looks old and gross. I don't even know. I must have just shoved. I don't know what I did. Try and just get as much of the root ball kind of loosened up a little bit as I can because I do want to be detaching the babies that are on here. There's so much going on in here. It's like, first off, this is really colorful and pretty down here. It looks just like, it makes me want like a watermelon candy or something, you know? <laughs> Lots of pinks and greens happening. Okay, so there's one little plant separated. It's got like one root that is holding on to some other roots, so we'll see about that. Okay, ooh. This one did not rip off nearly as nicely as the other one. There is this little teeny tiny plant. I am just probably gonna stick this, see if I can hold them, this little teeny tiny guy. I don't know if the way that I rip this apart, if it will still, like if there's still that bottom node there and if it will still root. So I think I'm just gonna chuck this little tiny piece into um, a prop box that I have going on upstairs that is just a bunch of damp moss and, um, got a little plastic humidity dome over it so hopefully that will root for me but if not that's okay and then this guy this I think should root up as well it doesn't have any on there presently but I think it should and again really really cute so we've got two possibly three new plants so far break up this root ball a little bit more if I can oh <laughs> Okay, I've got it detached and see if I can keep some roots with it. Oh, okay. This could even be too. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. So we have the main plant here. Hoy. I really want to chop this whole thing up, but I think I just don't have enough space. That's okay. We'll just kind of pot this back into probably a smaller pot. Um, Oh, this might just be like a leaf with a little bit of extra some something on the bottom, but I'm going to go ahead and toss that also up in my prop box. So we've got one, two, this is a good size one, three, four little plants that we've separated from that mother plant and then maybe five and six, maybe two others. So that's really, really cool. And I'm going to try and keep these guys in an area with higher humidity. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that yet. I'm gonna have to take a look at my space upstairs and see what I can do. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. Boop, boop, boop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the um, little secondary plants that we popped off into these little guys here. So I'm just gonna grab some soil, put that in there. And then I'm just kind of wiggling that around in there as I hold this up just because I don't want the roots that it has already those those few amount of roots that it has I don't want them to be buried too deep in the soil um just to try and prevent root rot as best as we can all right I think we can put just a smidge more soil in there all right he looks funky but he's in there eventually it looks like he will want some support as well because we do have a bunch of aerial roots pop him just right in here and I'll be able to fit another one in here. This I think is my biggest one, or my most established, I guess you would say. The leaves don't look good though. The leaves don't look very good on any of these. It looks like it just needs more humidity in general. So what plants are you guys repotting right now? What plants are like just busting out of their pots and like in desperate need of a new home because I feel like we've all got to have something going on right now that just desperately needs a new home. Like my big old Monstera Deliciosa that is over here 
Sydney needs a new home. <laughs> I can feel like down into that water saucer. There's like thick, thick roots just wrapped up around in the bottom of there, but I don't even know where I'm going to put a bigger pot. I guess on that same table. Oh my gosh. So yeah, let me know what you guys have to repot, what you like desperately need to repot and you've just like been putting off because it's a little daunting. Let me know so I don't feel so alone. <laughs> I think I'll be able to fit even one other one in here, which will be really nice. Then I can just like water this little tray and um, just kind of not worry about it for a while. So I've got two more and these ones have, this has like no root actually at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in that propagation bin that I have upstairs. So we just have one more of these to pot up then. So, and it's pretty small. I think I'm just gonna use one of these little teeny tiny cups and just pop them in like so. Again, I got I'm putting some soil at the bottom because I don't want those roots too deep in there, but just enough so that it will still be able to hold itself up and not just topple out of the pot. We've got him in there. Again, he's a little wiggly. Once these guys get some water, they'll be a little bit more secure in there. It's just in dry soil right now, so there's nothing really to hold it in there, so that's why it's a little wobbly, but I think this will do well. I hope. I hope it'll do well. We're going to put that out there. It's going to do well. Alrighty, so we've got all three of our little guys in there. doesn't look like much, but hopefully these will fare a lot better than they have been because every single leaf has been getting stuck coming out of this guy. So I'm hoping now that they have their own homes, hopefully some better humidity coming to them soon, that they will um, do a little bit better. Now we just have to put Big Mom back in her own pot. And yeah, I think I'm just going to stick her right back in here just with some fresh soil. That way she's got something to actually work with. So again, we're just, I just like to scoop the, you know, scoop this guy in the soil. I'm not doing anything crazy fancy here. Pop the roots in there, kind of dig it in a little bit. I do want to put the plank back in here. I know that the um, you know, the aerial roots weren't attaching to anything, but it is still providing support that the plant needs. So it's still doing something. Jiggle it around a little bit. And I always like to make sure that I have some soil packed around the, what's this called? Packed around the plank as well so that the plank isn't loosey goosey. It's not going anywhere and it actually can provide support because if it's loose in there and wobbling around, then it's not really providing super great support. And I am going to reattach this to the plank with that plant Velcro. And I'm just going to reuse the same pieces that I had on there before. That feels pretty darn secure in there. Once it gets watered, it'll be even more secure in there. I realized too that I've been using the plant Velcro kind of wrong this whole time. I think ideally you're supposed to put this like lighter, softer side against the plants and I've been putting it along the outside just because I like the way it looked better. It was just less jarring of a color for me to look at, but it makes sense to put the softer side against the plant, you know? <laughs> we'll use it the proper way that it's meant to be used, I guess. But you know what? Rules are meant to be broken. Sometimes, not all of them, but some of them. What am I trying to say? Don't listen to all the rules for the plants. You know what I mean? Like, rule schmools. He looks much better. We're all cleaned up down here. I think I'm gonna move him to upstairs to the plant room. So hopefully he'll get better light and a little bit more humidity. And honestly, I'm just kind of sick of looking at him down here because he doesn't look that great, right? Like, not crazy, right? He's not, you're not beautiful. I mean, you're beautiful, but. Let's move on. This is the last plant that I want to repot today. Um, again, I can't tell you what this is. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Um, people have told me what they think it is many, many times. Um, and it looks like it could be a bunch of different philodendron. Like, I'm really not sure. Um, people have said that it's perhaps the new red. Whoa, gross. There, you're probably not gonna be able to see, but there's just soil compacted inside of that. Like, okay, oh. Oh, these already were two separate chunks and I potted them up together. Wow. <laughs> I thought this was just like an extension of that plant and which I mean it technically is because I think I took this cutting from this plant, but this is just growing off this big chunky node here. So that's cool. This little plant seems to have been doing 
better than its big brother here. I'm not really sure why. I think I really do want to chop this guy up quite a bit today. So that's what we're going to do. Wow, that's so gross. We're not going to need this pot and it needs a clean out anyway. That is gross. Let's give this little guy his own pot. I think this will be nice for it. It'll fit the chunk and everything like that. It won't be sticking out on the ends or anything. Look at how cute that is. So now for this guy, let's kind of uh, see what's going on here. I've got a lot of bark in here, so that's good. I need bark. <laughs> I think I'm going to let this bottom half just be its own thing here. I do feel like there is an active growth site starting right here, so I'm going to try and chop above it and like in between. There's a ton of nodes here. I don't know if you can tell where there were leaves at one point and they've all died off. Actually, it looks like there's a lot of like activating bud sites here. It's going to be kind of tricky. Ooh, ooh. Okay, well, we did it. <laughs> and it looks good. It doesn't look rotted or anything like that. It's going to be a little purple right there. Really, really pretty on the inside. Well, we'll set that guy. Well, this guy can actually just be planted right back into something. Pot this guy in here. A little bit of soil at the bottom. I think that's actually a little too much soil. And whoop. Shove him right in there. We've got our sad one leaf cutting here, but hopefully this will turn into something big and beautiful one day. <laughs> This is interesting. So I definitely want to chop this top piece off so that it, it that it's its own plant. The nodes on here are really, really close together, so it's a little tricky, but you gotta kind of just move the leaf out of the way. Oh, or break the leaf out of the way. That was a really pretty leaf. Oh, bummer. All right, well, that's okay. Shit happens, it's okay. Ooh, it's bleeding. So I'm gonna not pot this straight away because it is bleeding. I do want this to callus over a little bit. Pop him right in here for now and then just off to the side. And let's keep chopping. <coughs> oh my God, that felt so good. All right, there's our last little cutting. I'm gonna let all these guys callus over probably for a couple hours and then I'm just going to either put the little I'm going to put the little single like node chunks upstairs in my propagation box and then I'm going to pot up these little single node guys in little teeny teeny tiny clear plastic pots with some moss. So, I will show you those at the end of this video. All right, you guys, I think that's going to do it for this little repot and chop and prop. So, hopefully all these plants will fare well. I definitely think that this guy is going to do much much better with that cleared out bottom of the pot. So, hopefully he can spend more time and effort into the actual plant, the main plant, and then hopefully all these little guys will do well as well. I will make sure to keep you guys posted um, either in another video or on my Instagram or something like that. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for some info on these guys in the future. And yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram, Plant Therapy, and I will see you